The novel's called Barney's Version, and so, and it's written in the first person. So the reader has to decide when he's being truthful, when he's being self-serving, and how reliable a witness he is. Some of their haughty wives, who had hitherto found me disagreeable, coarse, a sour and unattractive man, now got a charge out of my presence. Imagine, a kike with a passion for something else besides money, a real murderer moving amongst us. One of them said, you mustn't take offense, Barney, but I associate your people with white collar crime, not acts of, well, you know. I have the same distaste for any kind of hypocrisy or pretension. So to that extent, there is a shared point of view. However, <laughs> I haven't been married three times. My father's not a cop, and I haven't messed up my life, or I don't think so. Poetry comes naturally to the Panofskys. Take my father, for instance. Detective Inspector Izzy Panofsky departed this veil of tears in a state of grace. 36 years ago today, he died of a heart attack on the table of a massage parlor in Montreal's North End immediately after ejaculating. Summoned to claim my father's remains, I was taken aside by a visibly shaken young Haitian girl. She had no last words to impart to me, but did point out that Izzy had expired without signing his credit card slip. I never set out to annoy anybody or to ingratiate myself with anybody. I'm a satirical novelist. That's the nature of the beast, and, and I guess some people are annoyed when they read my work. But I really write for the intelligent reader. <laughs> Blair came to Canada from Boston in the 60s, a draft dodger, like Dan Quayle and Bill Clinton, and consequently a hero to his students. As for me, I'm dumbfounded that anybody would prefer Toronto to Saigon. Correction, these meandering memoirs do have a point after all. Over the wasting years, I have levered free of many a tight spot, leaning on a fulcrum of lies, large, small, or medium-sized. Never tell the truth, cut out, lie like a trooper. The first time I told the truth led to my being charged with murder. The second time cost me my happiness.